this is a 2008 Honda Accord, uh, same for 2012. This is going to be a driver side axle replacement. Uh, this uh, has the 2.4 liter, four cylinders, automatic transmission, 19 millimeter bolt, I mean a lug nut, and this is a lock here. I already removed that one. I raised the vehicle because I have an impact gun. Here, the car pin here. 19. I'm gonna see if I can get it out. I hope it doesn't turn sometime when it turns and turns. Then uh, you have to put pressure with a fork or something like that here. I hope I can get it out right now. Oh, beautiful. Got it out of here. Beautiful. Okay, right now I'm gonna be hitting the knuckle here. Here, put that for the outer tie rod. 10 millimeter bolt here. This is for the wire uh, ABS sensor. I don't want to stretch this wire. Okay, right now I'm gonna be removing this uh, 10 millimeter, I mean a 12 millimeter bolt here. And I'm gonna put it back here. Okay, right now I'm gonna be removing the cutter pin right there. I'm gonna get this straight here. Oops, this one was so easy. Now sometimes, sometimes these are not the only turn and turn. Uh, in that case, you have to put a like a, a fork here or something to put pressure, and then maybe can lose. And sometimes they come out easily. Hopefully. Beautiful. Unbelievable. And I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the nut back here for now. Now I'm gonna try to remove the axle right now. This is if you see this is uh okay here. Okay here, I got it out. Okay, I'm gonna go beneath the car. It's kind of dark. I have a light, I don't know if it's gonna help or not, but I'm gonna go and pry it out from there, from beneath the car. I'm prying it out right now. Okay, beautiful. Okay, now I'm gonna be removing this. Um... Okay, now I'm gonna be removing this two, this one and this one here, 17 millimeter bolt for the caliper it out completely now at this point if you can see this is loose this is not stretch at all I'm gonna see where I can uh, from here okay I'm gonna be removing this 17 millimeter bolt and I'm it has another 17 millimeter nut on the other side so i'm gonna hold it with uh this wrench 17 millimeter wrench here all right here is the 17 millimeter nut i'm gonna tap it here see how the pressure is i'm gonna just tap it a little bit not too much so far it's coming out good See if I can change the camera to this side. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna see if I can do it with this uh, screwdriver here. And I'm gonna tap it with a hammer. If, if this is putting too much pressure, then you have to use a jack or something to lift it up to raise, to raise the, the lower control arm. 
yeah this one is coming out very very good no problem I'm just tapping a little bit see here the boot is broken it's uh ripped off here okay right now i'm gonna be installing this axle here i have the bottle jack here um I'm gonna put this axle like this. Okay. Gotta take care of the boots. Make sure the boots don't get ripped off. Alright, it went in already. Okay, I'm gonna be inserting this bowl here. I have the bottle jack here. I'm gonna raise it up. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna hold it on this side here with a ten, uh, with a seventeen millimeter wrench. A little bit of uh, any cigarettes. Now you can do this with your hands sometimes, and sometimes you cannot. I was able to place it with my hands there. Okay, I'm gonna put in the tie right here. It has any cigarettes right there. Sensor here, the ABS sensor, 10 millimeter ball here. The brake caliper. I have to retract the, the brake caliper here. See that the brake line is now twisted. The way it goes here, very good. It's not twisting. Okay, I'm a uh, 17 millimeter bolt here. I'm gonna see if I can do the one on top. Usually, it's easier. The one beneath here on the bottom. everything is in place and tie it has been already tied tie here and I connected the ABS sensor 10 millimeter ball right there uh, another 10 right there the tie rod it has the cutting pin right there too and it's tied also and and uh, right there oops right there uh, 
has been tied and a cutter pin right there too and it's tied and uh, this has been a driver's side axle replacement